Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see the remaining CRUD operations involved in the database using the map address in a Spring Boot application. So in the previous video, if you had noticed, we saw the uh, insert and the select statement. So one of the viewer he had requested for the update and the delete statements as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show that. Um, so before going into the video, so I'll just summarize uh, what we did as a part of the previous one. So what we did is we added the uh, MySQL database details in the application properties and then we added the mapper okay the user mapper is the mapper class which we will be uh, using so my is will be using this particular mapper class to execute the query so my is not similar to hibernate hibernate is a orm entity framework my is just a framework to do mapping between the functions and the queries okay you don't have to create entities uh, like how we do inside uh, hibernate okay instead you, you can just create any model and then you can use that model okay if you notice here i have created the model called users which is nothing but a simple pojo okay and also we have created the mapper so mapper has select and insert we are going to add update in the delete statement as well okay and uh, these are just exposed as uh, rest endpoints so if you notice here i am using spring mvz to uh, expose these as rest endpoints so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more rest endpoint uh, to do an update so if you see uh, we said update but we were doing an insert uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that update users I'm just going to add a rest endpoint okay <coughs> so I'm going to say that update all the data uh, which had YouTube so let's say update users okay I'm just going to add a simple one so that can get the response back okay so what you're going to do here is I'm going to create a new object okay so I'm going to use the same name which is YouTube uh, which we used before so users dot set name YouTube right and the only thing now I'm going to do is I'm going to change the salary to five 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 okay so that way we will know that okay whether the salary has got changed or not so we are going to use the same mapper and we are going to do an update and we are going to pass the users entity okay and finally you are going to do a find all right okay so this is what one endpoint is going to do uh, let's create the update statement uh, before that we are going to create a delete statement as well so we are going to do a delete as well so let's do that so what I'm doing is I'm just passing the name as YouTube and I don't need this and I'll say delete and finally I'm just querying it. okay so let's go and create this users so I'm just going to create this particular method okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to annotate this particular method with the add update okay so add update is an annotation coming from ibatis if you so you see here right ibatis gives that so ibatis or mybatis so in fact uh, mybatis got renamed to ibatis but yeah it's almost the same right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type the update query here so I'm going to say update users users is our table so update users I'm going to set the uh salary equal to hash curly braces salary so that is how you reference a uh, value from the model here into this particular query okay so that is the notation inside my batters okay so we, what we are doing is is we are doing a update uh, user set salary uh, where name equal to name because we need to uh, set the salary only for that particular names right so that's what we are doing here right so the next one is deletion so let's create the delete method for delete we need to do something similar so what we will be doing is we will say delete and we will be running the delete users where actually we should say delete from users where name equal to hashtag name okay so that's what we are doing here so what we are doing here is we are doing an update on the uh, name and delete on the uh, name 
okay so we are updating the salary for that particular name and we are deleting all the users with that name so and also we have exposed that as a rest endpoint here so there are no errors right so we are going to delete youtube and we are going to add uh, so as a part of update we are adding in any way with some other salary and then as a part of update we will just uh, update users we will just update the salary and that's what we're going to see here so let me start this particular project okay so if you want to know in depth about what we did uh, as a part of the project creation you can check my previous video so in that i have clearly mentioned what each does but in this particular video i'm just adding the update and the delete commands which got missed in the previous video so the server is coming up so yeah it has come up under the port 9095 so what i'm going to do i'm going to browse so initially what are all the users do we have so let me refresh the page so if you notice here i have peter sam youtube 2323 so what i'm going to do is i don't want youtube i'm going to delete all the users with the youtube so i have the rest endpoint called delete right if you notice here it has deleted and queried all so if i still say user slash all it is going to give me the same result so basically all the data which was which were having the name as uh, uh, youtube got deleted okay this particular my better uh, my sql database is running in my machine right now okay so now we need to update uh, something here. we need to add a users database so i'm going to do update so if you notice here we got the youtube data got inserted but now i'm going to call the update users which is going to update my salary to something else if you notice here salary got changed okay so that is what uh, the uh, update and the delete commands are doing right now so if you see here how to write uh, this in the mapper is we have to annotate them with update or delete or the corresponding CRUD commands and then you can give the query directly so my is not like hibernate if you see hibernate or the spring jpa you don't have to create the queries like this here you can just uh, directly use the uh, repositories which are there the CRUD repositories or any jpa repository or any repository which which is there you can directly use that and then all the uh, find all and update insert uh, queries uh, save queries are automatically created um, based on the uh, repository which we have created based on the model and the primary id which we are given but here we don't have to do that so you can directly map the queries here so previously my bat is used to have the xml notation so what we used to do is we used to write the interface you have an xml file the interface and the xml file we used to match but now it has now moved to the annotation level so you can add annotations like these and then you can add the queries directly here so that the values from the uh, arguments will be referenced inside the annotations and that that will be used for computation so if you see here what we have done is we have cre uh, created uh, users as a part of the insert we have updated the users we have deleted the users and also we have finally queried the users okay so this is what we will be doing um, uh, this is how it looks like when you use my bat is inside a spring boot application uh, if you ask me personally my is faster than spring jpa i have used both my batters and the spring jpa uh, spring jpa and uh, if you use along with hibernate it is a bit slower but um, it gives us the flexibility of not not having to write all these queries here but apart from that i feel uh, my batters is faster so if you uh, if you have an application which is uh, uh, very memory intensive and you don't want to use much of memory then you can use my batteries in that case okay so this is how you create a my batteries application and uh, use crud operations um, for interacting with the mysql database okay that's it for this particular video meet you again in the next video if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it uh, that's it for this particular video